Greetings, my friends. This is amazing times we're living in. I'm just so excited. The Lord gave me, a, again, I believe, huge insight. Just did my sermon over the weekend, and it was it was hugely censored by social media, by YouTube, by Facebook. And uh, still got a couple thousand views, but it should have gotten many, 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 many times more than that. But again, it's big time stuff that, that I'm exposing here. And it's dangerous stuff that I'm exposing here. They don't like it. But I'm going to keep exposing because it's my job as a watchman and pastor. That's what I'm doing right now once again. This is huge, huge. I've got more stuff coming up on the false prophet later this week to give him equal time, Lord willing. <clears throat> but for now, I'm talking Antichrist. He's here and ready, as the title of the video says. He just, just gave away how he's going to explain away the rapture. Wow, this is amazing. Follow me here. Track with me here. Women are the nurturers in this world. They're the ones who love the kids. They care for the deceased family's graves. They'll put flowers on them, keep them clean, sweep around and make sure they're mowed around. They're the mother hens for everyone they're related to. They will be the ones who absolutely need to be comforted in the imminent rapture when the Antichrist appears before the microphone to tell the world that the aliens took us all. Okay, this is a fact. Enter Barack Obama. He just said publicly in front of everybody, a lot of you may have missed it, I may not have caught it. I believe the Lord flagged that for me big time. He said, men are getting on my nerves lately in these last days. He has all the world's women and the journalists talking about how he just said, after that statement, he said, all the world's leaders should be replaced with women. Okay? He said, they'll be the ones to take care of the kids, the families, to prevent war, etc. All stuff the Antichrist is going to do. Okay, you getting this? Track with me. Thus, with all the women knowing what Obama thinks of them and the fact he has a nerve to tell all the world's men this, the women will be even more inclined to believe him in his excuse and that he will provide for all humans, kids included, equally and profess to end all wars just like he coincidentally not just said women would do if they ruled the world. Now, see. Obama, if he really wanted a woman to be a ruling, all he had to do is after his re-election was go ahead and bring Hillary Clinton or another uh, qualified woman in as his vice. She would have been the one to take over if something happened to him. He didn't do that. Again, this is all just this is all just uh, jive talking. Okay. Now Obama knows that the men would of the world would never allow this to happen. Thus, he said it just to get women on his side. A hundred percent, the ones he will most need to do so after the calamity of the imminent rapture. The women, he needs them. Lastly, look at the King Solomon, Jezebel, and women in the Bible and the Old Testament in general. They were the ones who pushed for their husbands and they themselves to worship false gods, which is exactly what the Antichrist will become, a false god, the ultimate false god. And again, with the women on his side, they will push to worship him and bring the men and the kids along as well, whatever kids remain. This also ties in big time with Obama saying this to get them on his side. This is big, big, big stuff, my friends. And again, if you can't see this, I'm sorry. We are in the last, 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 last seconds of the last minutes of the last hours of the last days. We are here right now. Eternity awaits. The Antichrist is about to make itself known. I'm convinced his false prophet is none other than Pope Francis. Got some big scoop on him coming up. We are living in amazing times. And again, most Christians trying to live the high life. They don't care about what's going on around the world. They don't care what's happening. People aren't getting saved. They don't care that they're living backslidden lives. They need to repent, but they won't do it. They'll wish they did when they find themselves left behind. Jesus Christ is our only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. I don't want to see anyone languish in hell on the lake of fire forever. Either you're going to get ready and be raptured or left behind for seven pure years of hell where this world will be torn to pieces. It's a no-brainer, my friends. Please do the right thing. Get ready right now and repent if you're backslidden. Don't take any chances. It's not worth it. Love you all so much. May God bless you. Share all my videos and look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Man, this is some huge stuff. Let's get the word out there and share it. I'm being censored so much. We'll only get so many shares and so many views, but still keep, sh keep sh sharing because the Lord will have those that he wants to watch. Watch my videos and my sermons. The devil will never be able to stop that. Those who need to see it and hear it, God will make a way. I love you all so much. Please keep sharing. May God bless you. We fly soon. Bye.